What's going on guys? Welcome back to Clash with Eric. So, the long-awaited One Hive Clan War League for Champion 1. You have waited all week for this action and we are ready to show it now. So, I have all of the week's action and we're going to play it one day at a time in the order that I was recording it and you're going to see it all. So, we're going to see the planning, we're going to see the best attacks, we're going to see some fails. It's going to be a rough week. It's going to be a roller coaster of ups and downs, and we'll see how we come out on top. I'm not going to reveal the final scores, so make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and watch it all the way through to day seven and see how one hive prevails at the end of the week. So let's get right into action here. All right, guys. So first up on the docket for today, we have Wen, and he is going to take a swing live here. He's going to talk over his plan here, and then I will talk over my plan and hit one as well, and then we'll go over, and Chubbs is going to attempt one as well. So let's get right into that action and head over to the live feed with Wen. Which base are you looking at? Uh, looking at four. Four. Alright, wanna talk me through your plan? Alright, so on this base, I know it's that little dead zone. I can charge in and get some good value there, so I'm gonna start off with the bullet bounce at 3 o'clock in the gold mine. That's gonna skip off the collector and assess the final off for the queen. Okay. After that I will after that I will do a baby dragon on the laboratory and towards two o'clock that way it funnels the barrack, the dark barrack in the army camp besides the final for that side with the queen okay now i'm going to drop the queen at the 245 elixir collector and the healers where the gold storage is at at three o'clock because i do want the healers to ride the uh double cannon walls that way the air defense at the inside the eagle compartment will not target it okay. so if once the queen moves into the gold storage compartment the dead zone i'm just gonna uh, rage her there she's gonna get the both in front of the eagle the queen potentially the queen but it will get the cc now if the queen does walk towards 12 o'clock i'll just uh use a wall wrecker going straight in in between the laser storage and the mortar that way i'll get that secure two star and i'll wish like the miners at nine now if the queen walked the plan into the dead zone it will like i said it will get both in front of the eagle potentially uh -huh. the enemy queen and therefore i would start to add uh more towards 11 o'clock that way it takes the enemy king i'll use a wall wrecker at one o'clock, followed by the miners and the grand warden. Okay, and uh, I saw on your sketch you had a baby dragon for the army camp in the barracks at four o'clock as well, right? Yes, yes, baby dragon there in case that way the queen will not walk out after it snipes the mortar. Gotcha. All right, I'm going. All right, good luck. Tesla at one. Oh, the loon got it. Perfect. Nice. So far, so good. Come on. Oh, she talked the stories. That's not a deal. Oh no. Okay, good. Uh oh, I don't think she's gonna go in. She no, will retarget. Oh, she went back she, in. Okay. Yeah, she will. There's nothing for her to target over at four. She's gonna go in. Alright, CC pull soon. Get your poison right, down. I got the poison down. Uh oh, no. Heal is again targeted. Suck your miners. Yeah, doing it right now. BK down. Work it down. And all your healers are down. Pop your queen. Uh huh. Got the queens down. First heal is down. Two. 
tornadoes up. King got a lot further than I thought. Yeah. One more heal. Uh, I think I'm looking good. Looking pretty good, yeah. I'll get a wizard down at seven. Oh, I'll swag the heal. Damn. No, they're moving into it. They're moving back into the hill. Uh, I think it's time for it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right out of time. Damn, dude. If the Queen's healers didn't get targeted, that was over. Damn. Nice try. Alright, guys. Here is the base that I am going to be hitting. So... Uh, Wen didn't quite make it in, but we're gonna see if I can get it here. So what we're gonna do is Do an electron lawland with a sui hero to go after the enemy queen But notice where the CC is the CC is overlapping the queen and I'm anticipating there will be some heavy uh, Troops in there like ice golems or lava hounds that are preventing the heroes from just taking the queen and taking the town hall I also expect a lot of traps in there. So notice this air defense over here barely not overlapping into the CC range so that you have to run troops past it to actually get the CC pull and so we're going to use Valkyries which will go in between the buildings and pull the CC. We'll also throw in a couple wizards to take out that air defense. Then we will draw the CC down to where we plan to Electron. Over here at 8 o'clock probably by that uh, spell factory there and then we'll draw the ground CC onto the other side of the base there with an archer just to pull the the ice golems or lava hounds away so they don't cause any problems there. Then it's going to be a uh, an Electron. The Electron will drop in at 9 o'clock on top of the Inferno there and go in after all of those splash defenses right in that area there, going after the Wizard Towers, the Inferno itself, the Archer Towers, and just clearing out the whole area there. That's going to make the base as we enter into an Hourglass to form the other side of the Hourglass. We need to go in at the Queen right here. So we're going to start on this air defense here. We will sue our heroes in, and the ground targeting defenses or the ground targeting troops will be away. So we'll go after the town hall potentially next. I have a feeling it's going to be trapped up, so we will start a law loon there as well. But we mostly just need to get the queen down and push into that area there, taking out the air defense on the way in. So with all these defenses over here at nine down, and the defenses over by the queen down. We should have a straight shot through the town hall and be able to haste through the the air sweeper there and get through past the town hall. We will throw an earthquake on the town hall because we won't be at 50% there just to make sure that we get it and we do not want to start opposite of the town hall. That would be very dangerous. The We're going to have a heal going into this inferno here and we will drop in a couple balloons at 9 o'clock to finish it out. Then we'll be ending on this wizard tower. There are enough angle of approach for this wizard tower that I think that it won't need another heal. We will be approaching it from multiple sides so I think we'll be able to overwhelm it if we can make it through the first part. So that's going to be it. Let's see if we can hit it and bring in a triple for day one. Let's do it. Hi, guys. It is time to go live. 12v12 for Clan World Leagues. Day one. See if I can open this up with a triple. Troops are ready. We're going live in three, in two, in one. Okay, we are in. Get Valkyries. Wizards. Air defense down. CC's pulled, draw the air targeting there, ground targeting there. Got an ice golem and a dragon out, getting this blimp. Going right over the CC, blimp drop, rage, clone, open blimp. All right, perfect, got it. Poison down behind me, and get ready for heroes. King, queen, going in, going in, going in. Have that king ability, get through the queen. Ice Golem's coming back. Uh, let's, 
All right, let's try to lure that ice golem back away from the get out of the way. Throw archer back down there, and queen ability, and get ready for Laloon. Balloons first, draw traps. Hound second. Okay, moving in, moving in. Warden, get some haste down. Get rid of this earthquake right now. Warden ability. Pushing through, pushing through. Another haste. Come on, get to that inferno. Get to that inferno. More balloons. No more haste. Get the heal down. Uh, they didn't go to the inferno. Everything is. Oh, we got a couple going to the inferno. Here we go, here we go, here we go. In the heal, in the heal. Get the inferno down. Find that sweeper. We only got one balloon left. Um. It is gonna come up a little short though. Uh, last hound popped. And. Did you get that air defense down? Maybe not. Nope, they got it. Alright, alright. Okay, we just need to collect percentage now. We are not getting the triple on this. We can get as much percentage as we can. Get those minions down all around. We got one balloon left. I don't see anything that we can use it on. Um. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know, guys. Where do we use this balloon? I don't think it matters. I don't think there's anything we can get to. Maybe we can get that cannon? I don't know how much health it's let. I don't even know if we can reach it. It doesn't matter where we come from, we're going to get shot down before we reach our target. Hmm. What do we do? What do we do? 30 seconds. Alright. Put it somewhere. Hopefully we can get something on it. How much health is that balloon? Is that cannon at? Oh, we got to find the sweeper. No, it's not making it. Maybe I could have got the crash damage if it was weak. No. Not happening. Alright. Well, we tried. Day one is a no-go. What do you do? Alright. Two star, 73%. Not terrible, but we'll keep on moving. Keep on trying. Let's go see what Chubbs can do next. He's going in after me here. All right, guys. Chubbs should be going in any second now for one of the final attacks of this war. There he is. He's live. And let's see if he can bring it in. We need a triple. We have not landed a triple yet. We are counting on Chubbs to bring one in here. Let's see what he can do. Chubbs coming in first with his king down there at 11 o'clock. Going to start forming the funnel for the dragons there. Coco Loon up top. And... Oh, that Coco Loon just killed the Builder Hut. He was actually needing that Builder Hut to get chains off of. That might cause some problems with the chains for the E-Dragon there. And the heroes do go through. Queen down a little bit late, which is, I think, what he wanted. She's going to step up, take out that air defense, and wrap around the corner there. Maybe take out that uh, Wizard Tower. E-Dragon is now moving in. Gets the first shot. Finishes off the building at the top there. And he's going to start getting chains in the base there. Getting that Archer Tower now. And that isn't... Uh, what we planned for the chains there, but we'll see exactly if this is going to... We'll keep on moving through. Queen is down there all the way by herself. Already popped her ability. She's going to go down. Dragon's moving in. We are underway here. Let's see if those dragons can get into the town hall. Get that rage down. Get that warden as we move into the town hall. Slammer coming in at 10 o'clock. Gets immediately hit by a black mine. We are getting ready for the bat wave. All of the infernos are tanked. Every beam is locked into the dragons there. Here comes the bats coming in at the bottom of the attack. And they're going to get distracted by a Tesla down there as they move into the base. Those Expos firing down, picking off bats like crazy. Moving in strong. Wizard Tower the tank. Infernos are tanked. Slammer moving through the core. Bats sweeping through every time they approach a defense. Get those freezes down. Can they get into the Eagle? Slammer is going to help them out there. Freeze the Wizard Tower. We have a single Inferno up top. There are no more splash defenses except for the one that the Slammer is about to bring down. Gets one more freeze. And bats are wrapping around the top side of the base there. A few dragons left. Can they get through the Inferno there? Archer Tower picking off a few bats. Sends in one side, backside balloon there. And the bats, they got it. You got it, guys. Takes out the last air defense. Sweeps through. Takes out the final Archer Tower. Bats for cleanup. They will clean this up in a hurry. As long as they don't get hit by a red mine. Bats don't trigger traps. So as long as the balloons next to them don't trigger the traps and take them out. He is just fighting the clock on this, and he's got tons of time left. This is a very fast attack, and Chubbs crushed it. Way to go, buddy. And that's going to be our 
first triple for this war. Hopefully we can close it out and get the win here. We are going to move into the lead with this one. And let's go see how the final results of this war are going to go now that Chubbs lands a clutch triple. And hopefully that brings in the win for One Hive. All right, guys. Day one, wrapping up, One Hive comes out on top against the Chinese clan there. 30 to 29, and that's going to put us into second place overall there. We have a nice lead on percentage. There are a couple teams that are just wrapping up, but Jay-Z Garage is currently on top with 31 stars, followed closely by us at 30, and it looks like uh, Marshall's Army is a contender there as well. They're going to come in probably at 30 or 31 stars when they finish up their last attack of their war, but for the most part, most of these clans are scoring pretty low, and especially that opponent that we have tomorrow, only at 24 stars currently with one attack left, Partalia is our opponent for day two. So make sure you guys hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and be back here for the action tomorrow, and hopefully we're going to land some big triples. Take it easy, guys.